From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. I'm Power 5 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. We're going to be dealing with very calm, quiet weather conditions for tonight. Maybe a tad bit on the cool side. Temps dipping to the 50s for the overnight hours, so maybe a light jacket needed, but otherwise, no major weather issues. Get out there and enjoy your evening. Danita. All right, thank you, Ramisha. Here's a look at today's top stories. An Ohio woman arrested after she allegedly tried to smuggle a newborn out of the Philippines hidden in a shoulder bag. Airline workers stopped 43 year old Jennifer Talbot at the boarding gate at the airport when they noticed the six day old infant. They say she gave them an affidavit allegedly from the baby's mother that gave consent for the baby to go to the U.S., but it wasn't signed. Investigators say Talbot didn't declare the baby at the immigration counter and was trying to hide the child in the bag. Talbot is charged with human trafficking. This man is back behind bars after slipping out of the Cuyahoga County Jail. Brooklyn police arrested Ferdinand Torres Vargas today, more than 24 hours after he escaped, which prompted lockdown at the jail and a manhunt in Cleveland. This is the second time Torres Vargas has escaped from custody. The first time was in 2015. The Cuyahoga County Sheriff says the $2,500 reward for information leading to his arrest will be paid. The Revere Local School District is now using vapor detectors to catch students who are vaping in school. The small monitors were put in bathrooms and gyms and sends a silent message to school staff if it catches someone taking a puff. A student that is caught vaping will have their pen confiscated. Parents will be notified and they can be suspended for up to 10 days. For the latest news and weather, go to news5cleveland.com or open the News 5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.